Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Island of Vape. One of the best things about Instagram is that I can use it to look up all of the latest juices that are coming out from all the big names in the US. But one of the worst things about Instagram is I don't generally get these juices here in the UK for a good couple of months. But I'm happy to report that Cutwood Source's new juice, Bird Brains, is now available in the UK. I got mine off of vapeclub.co.uk but it is also available I believe on UK eSig store, maybe a couple of other sites as well. Um, obviously Vape Club's my go-to. So there's the bottle. Um, as you can see it's part of the gold series, it says there just under the Cutwood logo. Um, all of the writing and stuff is a sort of off-white colour this time around. Obviously you've got a bit of colour here on the Bird Brains logo. There's nothing particularly fancy about the label other than the colour. It's not, you know, it's nothing sort of extraordinary like the uh, the animal juices. The labels on those are really cool, but it's just your average label. Uh, it's nothing particularly fancy, but it's cool. Um, I, I got it in 15 millilitres. It had already sold out in 30 mils, and as always, three milligram strength. So. Let's get back into the swing of things. It's been a couple of weeks since I've done a juice review. Uh, might as well give it the old sniff test, see what it smells like. It's supposed to be berries and cereal. Yeah, there's a lot of, I'm getting a lot of cereal. Almost like like kind of special K, sort of that sort of bran flake kind of cereal. It's nice, it's, it's really nice. I'm not getting a lot of berries off of the off of the smell of it certainly, but um, be interested to see what it's like in a tank. As ever, got it on the Segeli 150 watt. Um, got it in the new Aspire Triton tank. Uh, let's see there, zooming in. Um, if you haven't seen the video review that I've done on that, check it out. Uh, it's a really nice tank. I have noticed it is a bit leakier than uh, the regular Aspire offerings, but it's pretty good anyway. Um, as far as the, the, the setup goes, on a 0.4 ohm coil, um, airflow on the top and the bottom is wide open. Uh, and settings wise 40 watts 4.1 volts you can see there so let's give her a bit of a blast and see how she goes <laughs> that's really cool I really like it um, I'm I'm not generally big into my my cereals actually. Funnily enough, um, I I got on with Looper, but I always found there was something else that was a little bit better. Um, particularly like, at that point, I'm on cut with Boss Reserve, and that was just owning it for me. Like I really love that. As far as cereals go, though, it's pretty top notch. Um, one thing I have noticed, it is quite dry. You might be able to hear it in my voice a little bit. It really dries your throat out. Um, I've had it. I've had it in this tank for, for a little while, I've been vaping on it for about a week now. Um, this this coil's seen maybe a tank and a half so far, because um, I've been sort of chopping and changing with other things, but it's still quite dry. Um, initially the flavour wasn't all too big, I let the coil bed in for a little bit, um, and the flavour's really coming out now. Um, but yeah, it is still kind of dry, there's something to bear in mind certainly uh, for me. I, I couldn't see myself using this all day, mostly because it would just dry my throat out too much, uh, you know, it's, it's a little too harsh. Maybe zero nick, I don't know. Um, I might I might try that at some point if I if I get another bottle, I might try it in zero nick, just to just to kind of see whether I can reduce the harshness a little bit. As for flavor, yeah, it's pretty nice actually. The cereal's really big, cereal's huge, like real kind of flaky, branny, I don't know, like it's supposed to be Fruit Loops, but I mean, we don't, we don't really get Fruit Loops over here in the UK. Um, certainly not Guernsey anyway, you might get it in mainland UK but not here. Kind of like Honey Nut Loops maybe. There's definitely a sort of Boss Reserve heritage in there, like you can almost taste the Boss Reserve sort of cerealness. But without the sort of caramel and the and the sort of banana -y layer that you get with Cutwood um, Boss Reserve. The berries, it's kind of like, it's a mixture between sort of strawberries, raspberries, um, kind of like any sort of red and purple berries, like that kind of stuff. It's not as milky I don't think as the sort of animal looper liquid is. It's not that kind of sweet cereal that you get, but it is still obviously cereal. There's just not quite as much sugar kind of dumped on the top. But it's good, it's nice. Um, would I buy it again? I don't know. Like, It's nice, it's a good change, um, but as far as cereals go, I'm not really into cereals with berries in, I don't think. I think I've, I've pretty much established that now. Looper was great as a sort of change. Bird Brains is good as a, as a bit of a change, but um, for me, the berries just kind of like that—that that harshness and that sort of th the throat hit that you get off of it. Um, 
I don't think I could live with it day in, day out. That being said, it is really nice for what it is. Um, it's just not my cup of tea. As far as price point goes, it's your average price point. Um, you know, so eight, eight quid for 15 mils, um, about 15, 16 quid for 30 mils. Strength wise, it's the average zero, three, six. If you can find it and, and fruit, fruity cereals are your thing, um, pick it up, it's worth a shot. Um, if you're into Looper, I don't know, like if you're big into Looper and you love Looper, this is different, but I don't think it's better. That's certainly my take on it anyway. So that's my thoughts on Cutwood Sauces, Bird Brains, uh, the new the new kind of flavour from those guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, check out the, the usual website, Twitter feeds, Instagram, yada yada yada. Um, there's all sorts of stuff on there. Um, comments as well, keep the comments coming in. I'm here to help, so uh, as ever, like, comment, subscribe, uh, whatever floats your boat. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Happy vaping.